Before you send out your form, you'll want to uh, look at some of the cool options you have for what your users see after they submit the form, as well as which users can submit your form in the first place. If you go to the gear for settings up in the top right corner and click that, you see some options that you have. First off, you can have them submit only one response if you were having a quiz or something and you wanted your kids to only have one or if you didn't want someone submitting multiple times on a sign-in or something. Uh, also, if you are in an organizational account, you will have another option up here at the top that says only allow people in my organization to fill out this form. I use that a lot when I am having things for school-related uh, school related activities. So you can click that or not click that, depending on what you want. Sometimes you do want more than one response. Now, when your users submit the form, they get a confirmation page that says, yay, you submitted the form. Uh, and you can customize what you want your response to be. The default is your response has been recorded. Depending on what your form is about, you might want to leave another message there um, to have them go somewhere or to let them know some piece of information, and you can add in whatever text you want. You can also show links to uh, a few things on that confirmation page. You can show a link to submit another response, that's if you want them to submit more than one. You can click to have them edit their response. So if you want them to be able to go back and say, no, I changed my mind on that one. Um, you can also have them be able to see a summary of responses, which shows them the graphs and the responses from everybody else. This is cool if you're doing an activity with kids and you want them to maybe see the answers to discussion questions or um, they're doing some sort of learning activity with that. I also use it when I want my um, attendees at trainings to see what other people said at the training. You also have an option to show a progress bar that says you're so much percent done with this form. If you have multiple pages, that's kind of nice. You can also shuffle the question order. So if you're using this for a quiz, that's a good thing. If you're using it and you want, you know, name, date, and so on, you probably don't want to use that one. You'll notice, though, that if you say you can only submit one response, it will not let you show a link to another response, which makes sense, and that also helps you so that you don't accidentally um, end up with too many responses. So those are the settings that you can have related to your confirmation page when people are submitting your form.